How's it going guys? This is CBNJ. Um, today we're going to be going through a game that I found on Steam called uh, Dig or Die. So I watched the trailer of it. It seemed interesting. Okay. It looked, uh, to me, from the outside without getting too into it or anything, it looked a bit derivative. Like it looked very similar to like say Terraria or Starbound, stuff like that. So yeah, that yeah, was my first impression anyway. that, Honestly, that was my, my first thoughts as well. Actually, if I'm being honest, it's one of the reasons why I even clicked it in the first place. Okay. So, you know, it, it does look like Terraria. Um, probably closer to Terraria than Starbound, but yep. there's definitely a mix of elements between the two. Gotcha. Um, and, and it plays very similar as well, but there's some things that take it to the next level and I think really separate it from those games. Okay. So it's made by a small team uh, called Gaddy Games. Uh, there's actually only three people that work on the That's game. Full on. Yeah. yeah, which is really cool. Like this is right up my alley. Um, you know, three people working on a game, um, that's that's really cool. That's, yeah, yeah, because like, that, that'd, that'd be so many like hours and a lot of hard work put into it to output a game. Oh, for sure, like it's, it's, it's really well polished for that amount of people working on it. Um, yeah. You know, like one, like a few of the things that I found before we even talk about the game, like, you know, some of the sound files um, definitely could have been improved. Like just some of the audio elements were a bit off, I found. Um, the music seemed overly loud at some points. Um, it was a bit, it was very scenic during the day, and then when it goes to nighttime, it goes into like battle music, which is sort of to the theme of the game, which I'll get to. Okay. Um, although I don't know, it felt felt very different. Um, the pacing could be improved in terms of that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, it's an early access game. It's been on Steam since the fifth of March, okay, yep. twenty fifteen. So it's been uh, on there for a little while. All right. Yep. Um, he's sort of been he updated as recently as last week, so it's still wow. being worked on uh, quite a lot. It looked interesting. Like I saw some um, like some turrets or something like that, which drew my attention. But okay. apart from that, it seemed pretty derivative. Like it looked very very much like Terraria. It yeah. had a bit like a Starbound feel about it too. But yeah, I definitely agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Look, the game sort of plays like both of those. So I guess it's your standard Terraria slash Starbound style of game where you've got um, some sort of mining equipment, the aim is to go further down or further to the left or right um, and explore the area, so it is definitely like that. Mm. Um, although this has quite a few elements that I think I feel do separate it. Um, this has got a really big sort of Minecraft style survival feel to it. Okay. Like when it gets to night time, it's night time and like stuff's gonna happen. All right. And it's gonna happen every time. So you sort of have to prepare your shelter and um, I actually got thrown off the first time I played it. Okay. In terms of preparing my shelter. Yeah. So I prepared my shelter the same way I would prepare my shelter in Starbound or Minecraft or Terraria. Yeah. You know, build up a wall, you should be okay. Yeah. No, sir. <laughs> really? Not at all. No. So first thing I did, chop down some trees. Of course you're gonna chop down some yeah. trees. First thing you're gonna do in all those games, there's some trees, I chop them down, falls the same way as Terraria. Very familiar, I felt very comfortable with yeah. myself. There was a little, there's a little uh, ship where you land. I yeah. should probably go back a step. So you land um, and I, this is cool that they've thought of this as a little mini story. So you land and you're actually an employee from Craft & Co and you're selling um, fabrication tools. So <laughs> oh, that's cool. You crash land and you're actually selling the tools that you then use as your character. Yeah. <laughs> so he lands <laughs> and he's it. like, oh, okay, now you gotta make another rocket so that we can escape. And so the cool thing about this game is that there is actually an end game. All right. So, you know, Minecraft, Terraria, Starbound, like you can fight the biggest, baddest guy and then you can consider yourself completed. But with this game, it appears that you can actually get to the end. So there's an actual finish to the game. Yeah. And for oh, me, I actually find that, find that quite appealing. Like I like the ability to get to the end of a game. I love yeah. sandbox games, but it's like that. You could play it for months if you wanted to, but there is actually like a final goal that you work towards. Gotcha. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Like, you know, you're playing Minecraft and stuff like that and you've got this like massive complex and you've, you know, beaten, like you went to the, the end and did all that sort of stuff. and you've beaten all the bosses and then you're still just sort of like wandering around like, what do I do now? Yeah, exactly. So there's no sort of like, there's no, catharsis that you get from being like, I finished the game, it's done. You yeah, know? and I, I like that feeling. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's, so it's a you're this, on it. So you're this crafting crew guy, so you land, you get your fabrication thing, so you start chopping down trees and stuff like that. Yep. So same sort of thing, you just right click on tree, hold it down, they go down pretty quick. Um, and then, okay, cool. So I've cut down some trees, I built my little fabrication thing that you already have, because you crash landed with it, because you're a salesperson. <laughs> nice. And uh, so you place that, turn those trees into wood blocks. What's the next step? 
build myself a little shelter. I'm yeah. like, sweet, I've done all that in time for night time, should be good to go. And actually one thing I'll mention is what, you actually start with the gun straight away. All oh, right. So you get a laser gun straight away. Um, not very strong, but you, you have that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, sweet, I can take on these yeah, bad guys. Yeah, you felt a bit of a power, you're like, yeah, I was like, this straight is, away. Like, this is gonna be really easy. Yeah. I died immediately. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was, I was gone. Um, so it went to night time. I'd already killed a few, like there was, um, the, the enemies are very basic at the moment. I feel, so far I've only encountered three different types of enemies and they seem to have um, sort of different skins or different power levels for those same enemies. Ah, uh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there's like a little floating guy that shoots bullets and there's a bat that doesn't shoot bullets and sort of comes at you and it's quite strong. Um, and then there's this little dog-like character that'll sort of come at you and the stronger versions of that also shoot. But that's um, really all I've seen so far. Gosh, um, so diversity, but... Yeah, so, and this is very similar graphics. Like, one's just a recolor of the other graphic. Like, that's where the polish needs to come in. Yeah. Um, but I feel like it's more of a proof of concept for now. So, all right, gets to night time. Built my shelter. The music changes. What's going on here? I'm like, okay, you know, it's night time. Like, Minecraft is fine. Yeah. It'll be dark for a while. Maybe some, you know, stronger enemies will come out. So, that little flying thing comes starts shooting, shoots through my bloody uh, blocks. Threw them. Broke them oh, down, oh, actually oh, demolished them. Fuck. So the different thing about this game is that you can actually destroy the environment and so can the enemies. That's full on, that, that changes everything. It changes a lot. That's full on. And so I did these wood blocks and I'm like, this would be sweet. I'll wait till the next day, I'll go and find some iron like you normally would and I'll build some stronger defenses just for aesthetics. Yeah. You need to build stronger <laughs> defenses in this game. So I died the first playthrough. That is in about, easy. But it's the first nighttime cycle. You would have panicked too. You would have been like, oh, it's all good. And he sort of blocked it. you like, what? It actually got me really excited because <laughs> that's very different from the other games. The other games I felt so easy. All you need to do is just get up. You're good to go straight yeah. away. You're fine. Like, you're not going to be in this game choosing which color of chandelier you want and stuff like that. You're in this game going, I don't want to die, please. <laughs> um, and that's what I liked about it. So, next playthrough, kind of knew what I was up against. Um, I survived the first night. Um, so, basically, I found that if you build an enclosure and leave a gap, mm. the enemies will funnel through there without trying to shoot through. Oh, and so okay. I can stand there and sort of take them down. Yeah, so you funnel them through, like, bottleneck. Yeah, yeah, and you run around on the top of the surface and you can find, like, iron and stuff like that, and you build your first turret. They're not very strong, but it helps. Oh, yeah, for sure. And so I made it to the next day. Oh, I'm going to go adventuring. So I went adventuring far to the right. Mm -hmm. I encountered a different colored version of the same enemy. Instead of shooting one bullet, it shot, like, five. <laughs> and I killed it. It was a bit of an effort, but I killed it. Then the game told me when I got back, because the, um, the little computer that lands in talks to you. Okay. Yeah. And um, it told me, every enemy you attack will come at night. And I was like, oh no! <laughs> oh, fuck. So, out. if you kill a stronger enemy, It'll come it back. will always spawn at night. So, and we're not talking like one of them, like you'll get 10 to 15 of them coming. What? And I was just playing on normal mode. And so, those guys were coming through. It took me like 15 shots to kill them anyways. I was dead again. Yeah, I can just imagine why. And so, but the thing, the cool thing is, you start to build up a strategy, and I started to get a feel for this game. Yeah, yeah. So you'd have to like try as hard as you can not to kill the harder enemies, or yeah, you sort of have to avoid, avoid them. them. Like if they're attacking you, you just don't shoot them. If you shoot them, then they come at night. So that's basically if you if the way the game explains it is, if you engage a species, that species will now be angry with you, and yeah. they'll come and attack you. So played through again, and uh, at this point, I should probably mention the other big game element. Um, so. Not only do you have enemies coming at night and things like that, but you also have very strong weather effects. And so, you know, in Terraria, you're playing the game, you accidentally hit an area of water and it fills up. Yeah. This game doesn't wait for that to happen. Um, it will rain heavily. And so the, th the I think the third time I was playing through, and I'd actually been playing for quite a while, I'd mm. built up a bit of an area, had a few turrets going, stuff like that. And uh, what happened was... It rained, and I hadn't prepared for it, and I obviously hadn't prepared my defenses from the previous night, so there was a gap in the top of my area. Oh. And it rained and rained and rained and filled my entire area, and I drowned to death. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's cool. Like, I really enjoyed this. That, like, it, like I was saying before, I, was like, I felt like it was derivative. Like, that would turn it all on its head. It's really you'd be like, different. Like, the night time, you're like, I'm safe, it's all good. Next minute, your freaking walls are going, you're like, hey, yeah. guys, what's going on? And the other thing is, like, all right, so I've covered the top. Yeah. I'm good to go. It rained previously, but I protected myself. If it's just dirt, the water seeps through it. 
what? It's really like they've actually thought about this sort of stuff. So it'll be raining on the top and you haven't covered this with metal or wood or whatever. And so the water actually starts seeping through the dirt and filling up the area <laughs> anyways. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really, Holy. it adds a level of tension. Yeah, definitely. Like you have to make sure that all, like everything's in order. Like, yeah, I think I, on, well, hold on a sec. On the uh, demo that I watched, the little video. Yeah. He, he made a, um, a bridge, yeah. but it wasn't supported and it yes. broke. That was actually the next thing I wanted to talk about. So <laughs> that's the thing. So first thing I tried to do is build up a really big, stronger wall. I'm like, that'll make me last a bit longer. I built it up too high and it started wobbling and it collapsed. Holy so ah, ow, man. It's really cool. My only thing that. is that it's only single player. Oh. Because I was going to okay. say, like, we need to play this Yeah, together. I'd be very That would be game. an amazing experience. Yeah. Um, but we can't. So it's just a single player. So yeah. I just wanted to give them a shout out because I think they've done an amazing job so far. My only criticisms are they need to work on the audio a little bit, make the enemies appear more diverse. Even if they're the same enemies, just give them a different graphic. Mm. Um, that's the sort of stuff that, that I'll be looking at. Yeah. Um, and other than that though, the game's looking really solid. I'd love to see different environmental effects like lightning storms and stuff like that, or you know, like you know, be innovative with it. But at the moment, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, you know, it definitely needs a bit of polish around the edges, but you, you have to check it out. Yeah, exactly. If the, if the main game's down, and like by the sounds of the end, like the actual gameplay sounds awesome. Yeah. If they can improve upon that. Like, it, like I haven't even got to the full elements. Like I'm up to the. I was playing for about three hours, four hours, five hours last night. Sheesh. And um, I got to a point where I was up to the third level generator. And so from there, you can actually start making things like electronic doors. You can actually use that water that's coming in as hydropower wow. and make it into stuff. So I haven't even touched the surface Jeez. yet. So, and this is cool because it's not even finished. So it sounds like, like Terraria for adults. Yeah. Like you got to think about stuff and think smart about stuff It justifies well. the single player only element okay. by making it survival. Yeah. Because in the other element, you guys can all faff about for a bit and it doesn't really matter too much. Mm. But in this environment, like you have to play to win and yeah, to survive. Yeah, it's on straight away. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's always on. Like you always sort of like, I can't go away and have some Doritos and come back. Like I'll probably be dead. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll have drowned. Yeah, which is really cool. So we've got to wrap up on Dig or Die. So just to put it all together, you know, the environmental effects are awesome. Like the physics effects when you're building stuff is really cool. Like you have to actually think about stuff. Mm. It took me quite a while to work out how to do a bridge to get across to the other side to get these stronger materials than I needed, like that was actually quite a bit of a challenge. Yeah, by the sounds of it. And like during trying to make it, it would go to nighttime and I'd have to fight again. Oh, far right. And I was so far away from my turret system. Yeah. So it was crazy, like I had to go all the way back to my base, defend it again, and it was really cool. So look, if I had to give it a score out of 10, I'd probably give it about a seven at the moment, which is, you know, it's a pretty high score. I think um, yeah, absolutely. well deserved. Um, the guys have done such an amazing job with it. Uh, you have that tension, you have that feeling. Um, I could easily play it for such a long time and have yep. and probably will continue to and uh, yeah so definitely give it a shot and guys give it a shot and if you have played it share your thoughts below and uh, let us know what other games that are like this um, we really want to play them absolutely yeah this little hidden gems like that's that's what I'm after yeah. like you know I had no idea about it until you brought it up I, I saw that even I saw the demo and I was like that, that seems all right but you know having that sort of experience and the discussion of why it's good. Yeah. Like it's actually got me excited to play it. Like I, I, like, yeah, the thinking man's Terraria, it sounds yeah, amazing. Yeah, that's, that's a good like, way to describe it. Yeah. And uh, good news for Australians, it's only seven ninety nine USD, so about 50 bucks Australian. <laughs> <laughs> what a bargain. That's it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, um, thanks for watching. So if you like the video, hit subscribe. Um, feel free to comment below on your thoughts about the game and uh, share any other games that you found uh, that we could use. Hmm. Awesome. Well, even your stories about the game, uh, if you've had a good experience or Anything like that, or have a bit of a story to tell about it, let us know. Love to hear it. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, guys. All right. See ya. See you later.